Tacitus, Latin, Marcus Claudius Tacitus Augustus, c. 200 June 276, was Roman emperor from 275 to 276. During his short reign he campaigned against the Goths and the Heruli, for which he received the title Gothicus Maximus. <laughs> Early life Tacitus was born in Interamna Terna, in Italia. He circulated copies of the historian Gaius Cornelius Tacitus's work, which was barely read at the time, perhaps contributing to the partial survival of the historian's work. Modern historiography rejects his claimed descent from the historian as a fabrication. In the course of his long life he discharged the duties of various civil offices, holding the consulship twice, once under Valerian and again in 273, earning universal respect. Emperor After the assassination of Aurelian, the army, apparently in remorse at the effects of the previous century's military license, which had brought about the death of the well-liked emperor, relinquished the right of choosing his successor to the Senate. Initially, the Senate hesitated to accept the responsibility, but when the delay had gone on eight months from Aurelian's death it at last determined to settle the matter and offered the throne to the aged princeps Senatus, Tacitus, Tacitus, after ascertaining the sincerity of the Senate's regard for him, accepted their nomination on 25 September 275, and the choice was cordially ratified by the army. This was the last time the Senate elected a Roman emperor. The interregnum between Aurelian and Tacitus had been quite long, and there is substantial evidence that Aurelian's wife, Ulpia Severina, ruled in her own right before the election of Tacitus. Tacitus had been living in Campania before his election, and returned only reluctantly to the assembly of the Senate in Rome, where he was elected. He immediately asked the Senate to deify Aurelian, before arresting and executing Aurelian's murderers. Amongst the highest concerns of the new reign was the restoration of the ancient powers of the Senate. He granted substantial prerogatives to the Senate, securing to them by law the appointment of the emperor, of the consuls, and the provincial governors, as well as supreme right of appeal from every court in the empire in its judicial function, and the direction of certain branches of the revenue in its long abeyant administrative capacity. Probus respected these changes, but after the reforms of Diocletian in the succeeding decades not a vestige would be left of them. Fighting barbarians Next he moved against the barbarian mercenaries that had been gathered by Aurelian to supplement Roman forces for his eastern campaign. These mercenaries had plundered several towns in the eastern Roman provinces after Aurelian had been murdered and the campaign cancelled. His half-brother, the Praetorian prefect Florianus, and Tacitus himself won a victory against these tribes, among which were the Heruli, gaining the emperor the title Gothicus Maximus. <laughs> Death On his way back to the west to deal with a Frankish and Alemannic invasion of Gaul, according to Aurelius Victor, Eutropius and the Historia Augusta, Tacitus died of fever at Tyana in Cappadocia in June 276. It was reported that he began acting strangely, declaring that he would alter the names of the months to honor himself, before succumbing to a fever. In a contrary account, Zosimus claims he was assassinated, after appointing one of his relatives to an important command in Syria. <laughs> 